59 this morning. Another hour of First News starts right now. In the headlines this morning, six people killed in Michigan after a mass shooting. The manhunt for the suspect is over, and we have breaking details from investigators. Plus, we take you live to a big event in Omaha, getting everyone to think spring. Countless ways to get creative, sprucing up your yard. Live from 7 Burlington Station, this is Omaha's news leader, KETV Newswatch 7 First News Sunday. Good morning, it's 8 o'clock now on Sunday, February 21st. I'm Amanda Crawford. And I'm Alexandra Stone. We've got Weather Now meteorologist Alex Elisi here as well, taking a look at your Sunday forecast. Yeah, good morning. I mean, it's a pretty nice day outside. It's going to be a little cloudy and a little cooler than what we've seen the past couple days. But again, not too bad, and we'll still be mild. We'll still be above normal for this time of year. 34 degrees out the door right now. Broken cloud cover. Feeling like 30, the wind calmed down just a tad to about 5 miles an hour out of the north. Now, temperatures other places still in the 30s. 36 degrees in Lincoln. 34 degrees Beatrice. Good morning, Fall City. 31 degrees. 34 in Red Oak and 32 degrees in Creston. Now, as we go throughout the morning and into the afternoon, well, temperatures will start to warm back up. 43 degrees by noontime. The cloud cover breaking up even more by 3 o'clock. Reach a daytime here in the metro of 47. Areas to the south and to the west will see warmer temperatures because you'll have more sunshine. North and east will see cooler temperatures in that 47 because there'll be more cloud cover. By 6 o'clock, 44 degrees. And then the clouds roll back in for overnight tonight. By 9 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies with a temperature of 40. Alexandra, Amanda? All right, thanks, Alex. First News Sunday starts with breaking news out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hours of terror as a man goes on a shooting spree across the city. Six people are dead, two more injured. One of them, a 14-year-old girl fighting for her life right now in the hospital. Here's the suspect, 45-year-old Jason Dalton. After a six-hour manhunt, he was arrested early this morning. It started around 6 p.m. Kalamazoo time Saturday. Police got a call about a shooting at an apartment complex. When they got there, they found a woman shot four times in the parking lot. Investigators say doctors now believe she will survive. Four hours later, a second shooting, this time at a Kia car dealership. Two people were shot and killed while sitting inside their vehicle. 15 minutes later, another shooting call. Five people shot in the parking lot of a Cracker Barrel restaurant. Four died at the scene, and that's where the 14-year-old girl was shot, then rushed to the hospital. Again, she's still alive, but in serious condition. Then around 12.45 a.m., police found Jason Dalton in downtown Kalamazoo at a bar. They arrested the 45-year-old and say they found several weapons in his car. Just about two hours ago, investigators released more details, and here's what they had to say. They were shot multiple times. We have multiple, I mean, 9, 10, 11 shell casings at each of these scenes. Um, this is, this is awful. We'll continue following this story and bring you updates right here on First News. Now, it's because of tragedies like that that a local security expert brought active shooter training to the metro. People want to take action no matter where they are, even at church. This group at Emanuel Lutheran Church in Omaha is now trained for an active shooter situation. Saturday morning, they heard from a personal safety consultant. John Detterman speaks to any groups who are concerned about security. Never thought I'd be teaching this class at, a ch at churches, but we know we have had bad incidents happen in churches. Detterman's lesson is based on Homeland Security guidelines. He teaches people to run or hide first, but if your life is in danger, to fight back. Now tonight at 10, KETV Newswatch 7's Melissa Fry shows us the training first responders go through for these active shooter situations. 804 this morning, there's one less candidate in the race for the White House. Jeb Bush dropping out Saturday night. Voters weighed in in two states yesterday, and Karen Kafa wraps up the results from Nevada and South Carolina. The balloting started at 7 a.m. Saturday in South Carolina, but the contest out west brought the day's first results. Hillary Clinton entered Nevada's Democratic caucuses in a tight battle with Bernie Sanders and came out on top. I am so, so thrilled and so grateful to all of my supporters out there. Some may have doubted us, but we never doubted each other. But the margin of victory, much slimmer than perhaps the campaign hoped. Bernie Sanders noted how he's been playing catch up. What this entire campaign has been about is the issue of momentum, is the issue of bringing more and more people into the political 
process. From first in the West to first in the South. Donald Trump led by double digits in most polls heading into Saturday's contest and he posted his second victory of the 2016 Republican race. Let's go. Let's have a big win in Nevada. Let's have a big win at the SEC. Let's put this thing away. But with Trump's Thank victory, you, a departure from the race. For Jeb me. Bush, the one-time frontrunner, help from his famous family in this crucial state met. was not enough. The people of Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina have spoken, and I really respect their decision. So tonight, I am suspending my campaign. Next up for the remaining Republicans, party caucuses in Nevada on Tuesday. The Democrats come here to South Carolina for their first in the South primary next Saturday. In Columbia, South Carolina, I'm Karen Kafa. 8.05 on First News. New this morning, a crash near 60th and Grover sends two people to the hospital. Check out the damage. Police were on scene just after 2 a.m. They tell us the silver car hit the white car and two passengers in that white car went to the hospital, but they will be okay. A baby boy who went missing is now safe this morning. An Amber Alert went out Saturday afternoon from Fairbury, Nebraska. Around 6.30 Saturday night, police found two-month-old Jackson Smetter. Officers arrested the mother's boyfriend, 35-year-old Ernest Howard. Authorities say Howard is not the baby's biological father. A community just north of Kansas City is grieving this morning and coping with a shocking discovery. Four bodies pulled from a burning home, one of them a baby. Neighbors say they heard an explosion Friday night in Edgerton, Missouri, and then fire broke out. Investigators say it is suspicious and they're treating these deaths as a homicide things that just did not look right and the farther we looked at it the more it just didn't make sense. Now crews are digging through debris for clues about what happened. Investigators have not yet released the names of the four found dead. Lincoln's mayor wants to spend several million dollars fighting the emerald ash borer. Mayor Chris Beitler is proposing an almost 10 million dollar bond issue that would include two million dollars to destroy then replace trees lost to the destructive beetle. If the city council agrees the bond would be coupled with a stormwater bond issue proposal and it would appear on the primary ballot for voter approval on May 10th. Well, right now, everything you need to know for your home inside and out is under one roof. You've got one day left to visit the annual Home and Garden Expo at the CenturyLink Center, and that's where KETV News Watch 7's Camilla Ortiz joins us live with what there is to see. Good morning, Camilla. Good morning. So when I think of the Home and Garden Expo, this is the kind of stuff I think about. Really pretty outdoor landscaping displays. We're seeing lots of fountains, lots of ponds here inside the convention center today. And I want you guys to check out this one because I think it's really cool. Check that out. Boom fire. It's like bringing a rock show to your backyard. Can you imagine having something like this in your backyard? I just think it's awesome. So now I'm going to bring in uh, the designer of things like this. This is Todd Lewis with the Pond Doctors. So Todd, I'm seeing a lot of these kind of fire with water concepts. Talk about that trend. Yeah, so fire became really popular about 10 years ago, and now it's really turned into how innovative can you get? So how big can we make the fire? You know, can you blend the natural material and make it a little more contemporary look? Awesome. Uh, what else can you? What else do you guys have here uh, displayed today? What are people talking about when they come check you guys out? You know, pavers are a really popular subject these days. Everybody wants a nice paver patio. Of course, waterfalls, fire. Um, also, we talk a lot about pond maintenance. Um, we're we're able to get that information out to the public here, which is a really nice thing. Um, gives me an opportunity to meet new people, also to contact with some of our existing customers and really gives me some one-on-one -on -one time with them. Definitely. And now's the time to start thinking about stuff like this, right? Now is the time. You know, if you watch the weather, they're going to show you. It's going to be nice and spring is early this year, so we're ready to go. Awesome. Well, Todd, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you can you. see all these beautiful things if you come visit the Home and Garden Expo. Um, it's from 11 to 5 today, and today is the last day to check it out. So come on down. There's lots to see. Alexandra Amanda, we'll send it back to you. All right, Camilla, thanks for that. It's 8.09 this morning. Coming up next, events to plan your day. Plus, a man on a mission to help educate kids who have fewer opportunities than others. Also ahead, man's best friend saving the lives of one family after a deadly gas filled their home. Hear Abby's story coming up. First, though, a weather update. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning. Clouds are starting to break up and so are the showers to our north. I'm timing out how warm we get this afternoon coming up in minutes. You're watching Omaha's News Leader, KETV News Watch 7, with Amanda Crawford, Alexandra Stone, 
Your Weather Now forecast with meteorologist Alex Alisi. Live from 7 Burlington Station, this is KETV News Watch 7 First News Sunday.